What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the She Said No podcast. I'm your host, Marco G, aka the Six Scale Scoundrel, and I'm here with my beautiful co host, Gigi. Gigi, say hi. Hi. Gigi, episode 10. <laughs> I almost forgot what I was supposed to do there. You were, I don't say, like this lighting. It makes my <laughs> races way too shiny. You're derailing us <laughs> once again. All right. Episode 10. Who would have okay. thought? Who would have thought we'd come this far? Sure. Why are you never impressed? Come on. <laughs> and I'm going to run this beautiful intro that I put together. You ready watch. to finally see watch. it? Yeah. I need you to open your eyes and take it all in. All right. You ready? Okay, what'd you think? I zoned out a little bit. But Every only time. Little, only a little bit. It was <laughs> oh, fine. Oh, boy. Okay. I don't like this lighting. Go on. You want me to tilt it a little bit? Yeah, I don't like. I don't need that much of a spotlight. No, okay. less on me. Less oh, on less on you. More on me, but then I'm going to look shiny as hell. Yeah, that's perfect, okay. actually. All right. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's get on to the show. So we've got all the usual topics for you. We've got Is It Weird? We've got Gigi Judges. And our topic of the show is going to be you know, something that we've talked about before, but we're going to go a bit more in depth. And that's collecting more than one figure of a character. You know, when we when I started collecting, Gigi was like, you can only have one. You know, I, I just fundamentally disagree with that. So we're going to get into that topic a little bit. And we're going to talk about a figure that I just added to the collection. That's going to maybe open the floodgates. So I'm sure Gigi is not happy about it. Which one? Don't ruin it. No, oh. it's, the, it's the Mark 46. Oh, I was yeah. like, anyway, I have a lot to say. I just glanced over and I, wow. oh my God, this makes my like teeth. I don't like this. Whatever this is, I don't like it at all. The light you're talking about? It's like, about? look at it. It's like terrible. You have braces. Obviously, know, it's going to be shiny. Just, why does it look like that? Okay, sorry. Wow. It distracts okay. me. <laughs> you're ridiculous. Anyways, okay, so a little more housekeeping. If you're not following us on Instagram, go check us out. One underscore six underscore fix. You can see every time that we're going live, either doing an unboxing or if I'm going to be on Collecting Weekly or any of the other streams. Um, so you can kind of follow us there. And then I'm also posting pictures of, you know, all the various pickups. Gigi's supposed to take pictures of each figure, but we haven't gotten there yet. So we'll get there eventually. Yeah, but go check us out. We're also on Spotify and Apple Music, specifically the She Said No podcast. So this episode will be on there if you need to take us on the go. And one last piece, very exciting. Shout out to Baby Girl 707 and who is the Mike Jones for hooking us up with our first official wow. swag. So, you know, they got us some some stickers and Y'all pretty awesome here. Y'all yeah. Too. So <laughs> really, really appreciate that one more time. So, yeah, really awesome. We've been pa- plastering those everywhere we go. So. No, we haven't. All right. I was trying to be <laughs> dramatic. but <laughs> So let's start with an update on our lives. Gigi, what's going on with you? You obviously have a new haircut. Yes. Um, I finished final, so I had my last final. Oh my god, it was so brutal. You're gonna have um, to talk. You're gonna have to speak just a little louder. Sorry, <laughs> I just had finals, and it was brutal. Um, and so I'm very happy to be done. So I have one more year of law school, and I heard that this is supposed to be the toughest year. So the this last one that we just finished. So thank God for that. Um, and so I'll be entering my fourth year of <laughs> law school next year. Um, but in the meantime, I, so just got done with that, got my hair cut. I wanted short hair for a while. Marco did too. Everybody's like very shocked that Marco wants me to have short hair, but she just had the longest hair ever and it was (laughs) getting everywhere. It just was unmanageable. It would give her anxiety. I was like, we just need to go. Because she has so much going on, I was I don't like, need we need to, to go speak to short do. First of all, I was gonna. I don't get need there. to speak for you, but okay. all right, you say it. So Marco, <laughs> as I speak for you, Marco oh, wanted yeah. short. He likes shorter hair on me specifically. I don't know on the rest of the girl on his girls. But Depends. It's a case by case basis. Because I don't do my hair, um, he this is lower maintenance, so you know, better for me. Just don't have to do much to it just so, more compatible with I your wanted life. a little bit shorter hair to be honest like I wanted a little bit below my chin I feel like this just is like I'm a mom with this haircut it's a, a total bit. mom do but you can rock it and you've been a mom since you were like <laughs> like forever since you were a... but I wanted like a few <laughs> inches shorter wow so, okay well that's you know um, <laughs> <laughs> three inches for the win you know? <laughs> 
so um so there's that on saturday i'm officiating my friend's wedding my best one of my best friend's weddings are you prepared for that no okay, so i yikes. should be um so shout out to gold for sed- sending me over that uh who is mike jones who is actually? mike jones okay um he sent me over a template because he's been an efficient before so i need to do that um i was this hair thing took about four hours of my day today so thanks marco um and that's about it okay disneyland we will get to that on another episode we want to have some guests on you know we met up with mario el profesoro we met up with eddie money mendez um and his significant other adriana Cuervo and Kat, who we obviously had on Origin Story, um, and Sean came out and met us. So really great crew. And then our friends, uh, Stephen and Jody from uh, where we're at. So really awesome crew, had a great time. We did it very different than we normally would. So if you check out episode four of the podcast, we kind of talked about how we do Disneyland when it's just the two of us. This, we kind of skirted by all of our rules and had an amazing time. Like we really did. The only negative would be that it was the week before Gigi's finals, so <laughs> didn't plan that very not, well. She had not. her flashcards. <laughs> um, were you able to study at all while we were there? A little bit. Not okay. as much. So my idea, like going in, and I guess we can talk about it when we do that episode, but I thought like, oh, well, you know, normally we go back to the hotel like midday, and so I'm like, oh, I'll just study, you know, there for a few hours, go back to the park. That did not happen, and... You know, when Marco asked me, I was like, oh, yeah, sure. And that's a future me problem, you know. And then it was we came back on what Friday mm-hmm. and my test was on Monday. So it was not a good feeling. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. And we came back at like the very beginning of Saturday to make it back for work. And it was yeah, it was Friday. a mess. Oh, excuse me. Friday. I know. See, I'm still messed up from it. But last thing we'll get into it when we when we go in depth on that topic. But I didn't do too much damage. Right. Like I came back with one saber, one jacket. What did you think about the saber shop? And one figure. Well, that was separate though from Disneyland. Okay. All right, that, <laughs> that was. But you're right. I guess we could factor that in. I guess I have no nothing to say after that. Yeah, after you added your... in the figure, I was all proud of myself. What's like your... I barely paid. I barely oh splurged. But all right, I did a little bit of damage. Moving on now. So I, I'll also say I've been back in the office. It sucks. That's all I have to say about it. <laughs> They're having us go back two days a week. So. I'm fortunate though, you know, other folks have, you know, not had the privilege to not, you know, work from home, so, or work from home. Um, So I'm trying to make the best out of it, have some gratitude for my situation, not have a shitty attitude, but it's hard sometimes. (laughs) I know Pancake and and Gigi have been happy to get me out of the house a few days though, right? Yeah. Nothing more to say (laughs) on that, just, yeah, (laughs) just definitively. uh, It's just tough. It's just tough because you have the main house. And you're kind of like in the in the dining room. King in the castle. King in the yeah, castle. Yeah, and so it's just like tough because like I have to ask like, hey, are you, is this a speaking meeting? Are you not speaking this time? I'm just like, you know, I have, I'm lucky to have my back office, but it's just like I never know when, you know, I yeah. would get like very anxious. Like, what if I need to come in, make coffee? It's tough. It's tough. We're, so yeah, we'll, we'll see how this new flow goes. But um, let's talk also, now. I think I just can't be with you for that long like this <laughs> holy cow all right that's uh, good to know it's okay just, um, two years we were like together like almost every day that's true we were locked in here thank goodness for your back house if we were still in our old place there's yeah, no, way. no chance we would be toast so let's move on now to everyone's favorite segment segment, segment. what segments the segment what's on tap so this is where we talk about the media we've been consuming what we've been watching reading playing Gigi. <laughs> Not that you've had a ton of time, but what have you been wow. watching? <laughs> so, do you want to say or? No, you say it. Okay. Unless you don't remember the so, name. So, it's uh, four shots, four more shots. Four more shots, please, on Amazon Prime. It's very trash TV, but it's. Um, it's basically an Indian novella, is the best way I like can describe it. Just Indian very melodramatic. Sex in the city there you go. Type of thing. But I like it. It has a lot of. Um, yeah, like, yeah, it's, you know, but it has a lot of, I like the diversity in it. Um, but I have been reading, I'm on my third book today. I started my third book today. Um, what's the name of this book? I don't know. It's a long title. I don't know. Okay. But it's (laughs) (laughs) That's pretty classic you. Um, yeah. And, uh, but I will say this, I, my second book 
um i was crying <laughs> it made me cry the ending made me cry and i've never had that happen have you cried from a book yeah i I don't get far enough normally to get that emotional connection um normally the first four chapters don't make you cry but yeah i was like i mean it was a culmination of things i think but um i was legit crying like i legit marco walked in he's like what's happening and i was like i I was like why did she get my friend lent me this book and i was like why did this bitch ever lend me this book like it's so sad (laughs) the wrong person she gave it to the wrong person but um it was good and so i'm on my third one now proud of you though and i'm trying to take your lead we do need to have a reading night i've been you know making a dent in this one and by a dent it's a few chapters okay so what i've been consuming better call saul i've probably shouted it out on this show before if you haven't seen it watch it even if you haven't seen breaking bad just such, it's a slow burn, but amazing show. Multiverse of Madness. Gigi has not seen it yet, but we do plan to watch it together. Because... But I did ask him what happens and who dies before I watch it. Okay, well, don't spoil anything yeah, I here. Know. But I'm just... Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, she did, she did make me spoil most of the movie for her. There was a few things I was holding back, though. So, hope to get out to the theater sometime in the, f- in the next few weeks for her to watch that. And so we can t- talk about that a bit more. I know it's been really divisive in terms of a Marvel movie. I loved it, though. Like, I just thought it was really... It was hokey in a lot of parts. It was very much a Sam Raimi movie, but it just came together really well for me. I'd say it's a perfect movie. If you drink, have a few beers. Just go watch it. You'll have a good time. That was my opinion. Why why are you making that face towards that (laughs) recommendation? (laughs) Nothing. Go on. Wow. You're such a hater. Okay. And the last thing I would just say is I've had this PS5, have not been playing games as much, I think because I was streaming so often. So I've been trying to get more back into that. So playing a few games online and, and just trying to dabble a bit more in the video games, trying to work up to Horizon, the new one that just came out. So we'll hopefully hope to get that probably around Black Friday because I have such a backlog at this point. So oh, Pancake just needs all the loving right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's move on to Is It Weird? Oh, you know, one last thing. Sorry. Okay, Zach, you don't even listen to our show anymore. You're just a fake fan, but to the Ox Father, we are going to watch The Hobbit M4 Cut, all right? Gigi actually asked if we can start it tonight, so we're getting there. Now that finals are done, we are getting there, so. Oh, can I say something about yeah, finals? Yeah, please. Can I give you a shout-out? Is that a thing, or is that Give me end? a shout-out? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Whatever format you want. It's so- your show. <laughs> so, during finals, I, like, my back office is kind of like, I it's the dungeon. Like, I don't. Want, like Marco cannot go in there and then I have very strict rules like don't talk to me basically <laughs> also I choose not to go back there because you keep okay, it an absolute well, mess stop by it. the way I'm gonna fight you, <laughs> you are I'm gonna trying fight to me. give you a compliment and you're okay, making it very ahead. difficult <laughs> typical me okay anyway I was like do not ask me any questions like do not ask me any like uh we we got a quote to get the light um, so the lights redone in our living room and I was like and I don't know why I'm the person to be texting the guy like he speaks English so I don't uh, that's racial you get more of a discount if you speak to him in Spanish okay, so that's but he's what your sister met said us. he's already met us and uh, he kept asking me and I was like why don't you text him if you're so inclined yeah. and so anyway I was like please do not talk to me about the lights I don't want to like I need to focus on my test that's all I want to think about I don't want to think about anything else well, he would ask me every day. So minus that, you did okay. really well. Mm-hmm. I was like, don't talk to me about anything else until after my test. If people ask you questions, like you figure it out. I do not need to be involved. Like, do not ask me a question because I'm going to cut your head off. Like, it was yeah, serious. You get very, yeah, you get very emotional at that time. So I just learned to keep Emotional? God. We uh, will discuss after. Focused. Focused is what I meant to say. And so I am trying to give you a compliment. Go ahead. Go ahead. So you did really well. Mm-hmm. He had a lot of questions for me. And I was like, he was like, he, you kept catching yourself like, oh no, I'll, t- I'll tell you after, after your exam. And I was like, yes, please. So good job. And he cooked dinner and held it down. I'm a catch. I'm just saying you're the, re- <laughs> you are the reacher in the situation, but I will say, wow, you're so after, humble. yeah, I'm, I'm a very <laughs> humble person. People tell me all the time how humble I am. Uh, I will say, I feel like a Karen. You Sorry. do have a Karen, dude. Oh man, if we were a, you it should have gotten that. It feels like a wig. That's why I wanted a little bit shorter. It Look looks it. good though. It suits you. It suits you. It's 
It does. It is a Karen do though. You're Go on. Asking for a lot of managers. <laughs> I will say, oh my gosh, you made me lose my train of thought. This was on, oh, so after you were done with your final, I just busted out a list of questions. <laughs> like, okay, how about this? How about this? How about it this? It was tough to hold it all in, to, to hold it all together, but we, we got through it. So, all right, moving on. Let's move on to, is it weird? Gigi, yeah. I think you've got the, is it weird for this week? It's complicated <laughs> the way that I'm going to phrase it. So bear okay. with me. Um, also, I'm hope, am, am I allowed in this? I don't know. Sorry. I think so. Um, okay, so I have a friend, and I. So my friend was married, and is this friend you? <laughs> and she's not divorced. Okay. Um. So the divorce was kind of nasty. Like he's kind of I. I don't like him. Like f him basically. Um. He's trash to me. And wow. What if what he, he did, here's this one of these? Days. I don't care. Like whoa. Okay. I'll say his name. I don't care. Um, I'm still cool with you, bro. No. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. He, like, what he did was, like, he, it was, it, it was a mess. Like, just a trash of a person. A trash, I can't wow. even call him a man. Like, he is the worst, okay? I don't respect him at Tell all, Tell us clearly. how you really feel, but <laughs> my goodness. So, anyway, so for a long time, they were not on good terms. And they have a child together, which is obviously the saddest part, right? So, she's doing everything that she can to co-parent and have, like, a healthy co-parenting relationship with him. So... Recently, you know, they've been post or I don't think I can't remember, but they've um, on social media. There's a picture of the two of them with their daughter, you know, which is great. Like I'm all for that. But he requested me recently on Instagram and I didn't if I don't know you like that, I'm not going to just approve you. Mm -hmm. Right. Like I, I it was if, tough with like identity theft and stuff. You got to be really careful of who you had. Yeah, and just, it's just, yeah, anyway. So he requested me, and I kind of didn't do anything for a few days. And so I was like, okay, it's like nearing a week. So like, and I'm sure he doesn't like, he's not like focusing on that or anything. But I was like, okay, like I don't want to um, add him, and I don't want to follow him. Like he, I don't like this person, so why would I like them? Sorry, this is a long, is it weird? So is it weird I, so here's the back, the, this is where it's like, is it weird? I mm -hmm. know both of them. I live, um, they were my roommates at some point. So I had like interactions with the, both of them like that. We all played soccer together and stuff like that. So it's not like it was just like, I didn't, you know, it was like a passive partner or something like I knew him, um, and stuff like that. But like after they got a divorce and like everything was happening, of course I took sides. Like he's a dick, like, you know? So I asked Mark, I was like, is it okay if I just like delete his or like, I don't know what the term is, mm -hmm. but like not add him and just like delete it because right, you approve or mm -hmm. deny or whatever it is. So I was like, I'm going to actually ask her if it's okay. Like, you know, because I don't know what if I see him at some point later on, like mm -hmm. at their kid's soccer game or something like that. And so I was like, hey, I think this is, I don't know if it's just me being petty, but like, I definitely still feel some type of way against him. So, like, I don't want to add him. Is that okay? Like, is that okay with you? And I was like, I feel like a teenage girl, like, being like, I don't mm -hmm. know. It just seemed petty to me in a also, way. Also, this is veering heavily into Gigi Judge's territory. <laughs> and not as much, is it weird, but go ahead. So, is it weird to have somebody who you don't care? Like, you, you know, some people you don't, like, it's passive. Like, oh, it's just an event. I <laughs> wow, pancake. <laughs> She's been doing that a lot. I think it's her allergies. Um, so is it weird to add somebody that you, you know, there's the ones like it's passive. You don't, you know, you don't care either way. But this person, like, I don't like. So mm. is it we? Is it weird to either deny or deny. approve? Okay, so is it weird to deny them though? Is it yeah. weird to deny somebody you don't like? Is that? Yeah. Okay. I would say like... There's like exes that have tried to add me before, right? That I denied. Like, okay, I don't need to go there. I'm not. I'm not that curious, right? No, go ahead. <laughs> say what you're gonna say. Say what you're gonna say. So before, mm -hmm. I was like, no, that's so weird for you to have like an ex on your. I feel like now it would mm -hmm. be fine. I'd be fine. Yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. But you, you just didn't know back then. Yeah, so, yeah. all right. So, is it weird to deny? I feel like it's a total normal, totally normal thing. But yeah, is it weird? Write down in the comments below. If you think that guy's a dick too, write that. No, okay. 
<laughs> all right. Let's move on. To you. <laughs> now let's get to some figure talk. All right, dang. Let's move on to GG judges. So give me one second here. I'm going to pull up the, the slideshow. I've got this ready, okay? I came prepared this time, so See? don't you even fret. TBD. Okay, don't hate on me here. All right, we're going to pull this up. Are you excited? You don't know which figures, right? You've mm -mm. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to share this screen. Boom. Look at this. Application okay. window. Boom. And Pancakes isn't doing well. Oh, no. Pancakes losing it, huh? Mm. Okay. Look at that, huh? Oh, oh, actually, it's not even sharing the right thing. Hey, I'm going to get this down one of these days. One of these days, I'm going to get it extra dialed in. But quit before that happens. Anyway. I think you are. <laughs> We've made it to 10 episodes, though. Come on. Double digits. Boom, look at this. Okay. First guy we're going to talk about today, C-3PO. So C-3PO, recently announced figure, die cast. How do you feel about C-3PO? Yeah. Okay. How do you feel about this character in general? I really like him. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. What do you like about him? He's goofy. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. <laughs> so there's a, there's a close-up shot of, of this guy. Oh, I like God. all... Are they robots? What are they? Uh, yes, they are robots. I like oh, all the gosh. robots. So let all me do them. this one more time. Oh, man. You hate to see it. You really do. You, I thought I was prepared. <laughs> <laughs> and, okay, now we're cooking with oil. Now we got it dialed in. Okay, so... One of your favorite parts of the of the original trilogy were the droids, right? Yeah, are well, they droids? Yeah, droids. Did you say? Did you say robot men? Yeah. Is that how you describe <laughs> them? <laughs> were the droids? <laughs> so you like C three PO and that he's yes. goofy. Uh, okay, so there's a close and up. And I like of the him. little noises they make. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. And there's uh, your favorite one, R two D two. Yeah. So they did also that announce R two D two. Yes. Right. So it's not a two pack, but they did also announce him. Okay. Um, and here's some more shots of C-3PO. Do you notice anything oh. strange? Okay, well, anything about the coloration that's off yeah, to you? it's like a weathered. It's a weathered one, right? Yeah. So it's an episode two version. Okay. So it's not the shiny gold version that's kind of sure. the more iconic. Um, it does come with the droid oh, head, which is from I one of the scenes. Yeah, that. A battle droid head and a oh. blaster. And so here's kind of all he comes with. So I know initially we talked about not discussing price, but... Mm -hmm. We're going to go there now because I think the floodgates okay, have me, been open. Can I guess? Yeah, why don't you guess? Okay, don't you just guess? one? Yeah, one I'm one gonna price. Say, mm, I'm going to say... I'm going to say $325. Wow, you're spot on. It's $330, Damn, actually. Wow, I'm getting real good at yeah. this. So, okay, so so knowing that it's diecast, okay. it's a character that you like, mm -hmm. how many pancakes out of 10 pancakes? I haven't... I don't remember. Did I watch this movie? I the weather yeah one? attack of the clones i don't know that you've seen episode two yeah yeah um, it's it's probably the the most forgettable one in my opinion i still but, like it i mm -hmm. mean i like the all the droids um mm -hmm. for that amount hmm. here's okay can i say something yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna get you full screen let's go go okay. off queen so i'm just gonna guess mm -hmm. what people's problem is okay with it. let's hear oh maybe that should be <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. You're going to guess what the community's problems are? Okay. No, no. <laughs> what they have a problem with. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, pancake is not happy. Um, that's not the, um, I don't know, original. That's not the version that they wanted. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. But I, I think I heard a little bit of like, well, if you don't get it, they're not going to make the other one. Mm -hmm. If they already had the color, why didn't they just do that? I get all of that. However, and I think this one's a little bit different because, like, that's the classic look, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you wouldn't have a weathered, um, what's this girl's name? Wonder Woman? Yeah. Or, or Ray? No. Oh, no. Wonder Woman. Yeah, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I guess that can be the argument. But okay. it's just like, y'all are going to get it anyway. <laughs> like, Dang, you like, do make a valid point, though. Cause... <laughs> like, you guys are always talking about weather. Oh, but this one's weather. Like, that bird shit one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boba Fett, you're talking yeah, about? Yeah. Like, that was awful. That was, Don't you dare. That you're going to be upset when terrible. that one shows up. Uh... <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. And it's just like, it makes more sense to me. I mean, obviously, this is not accurate to the movies, whatever, blah, blah, blah. It makes more... Actually, I don't know because I haven't watched it. It makes more sense to me that a, a droid would be weathered well that one is accurate to that movie though no that's what i'm saying okay. so it's just mm -hmm. like it mm -hmm. makes more sense to me that a that a droid would be weathered mm -hmm. as opposed to 
any other ones. Like, why would I want? I just don't. I'm sorry that bird shit one. I don't understand. Wow, you don't have to bring Boba into this, all right? He's I'm had just a rough. Saying, he's had a rough year. About the weather know, I'm joking, looks. I'm joking. Um, yeah, and mm-hmm. it's just like, and then if they, I get it, you'd want the shiny one first, but then you're like, oh, now I have to get this weathered one. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, it doesn't really matter <laughs> what came yeah. first, the, what is it, the chicken or the egg? Like, mm-hmm. it doesn't really matter. You're, yeah. you're probably going to get it anyway, so. Wow, you're getting, GG, the judgmental, <laughs> you're getting a little too big for your britches, though. How many pancakes was oh, my question? Oh, sorry. Unbelievable. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see it again. I really like it. I'm going to say an eight. I think it's dope. An eight. Okay. Yeah. Do you really need to see it again? Or? No, I think okay. I got it. All right. So an eight for C-3PO. Good. Awesome. Okay. That's one that I've definitely been on the fence. So so I do plan on getting the... See what I mean? Yeah, you right? You give I mean? me an inch. <laughs> I think maybe that's just like my coping mechanism. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, it yeah, is. It's kind of cool, actually. Yeah. I, I, anyway. I want to hear your opinion. The people want to hear your opinion. <laughs> Go on. The R2-D2 seemed like a no-brainer. Like yes. that one's awesome. Yeah. That one's a little bit, that one's 270, but it does come with some die cast as well and a bunch of accessories. And he can go yeah, really well with Luke. That's expensive, no? That's just kind of the market these days. It is, but he comes with a lot of stuff. But, you know, just they're they're just very overpriced, like they are. But that's what the market will support. Okay, so. can I ask a question? Yeah, though? go ahead, go Would ahead. Would you really need one of these? I feel like those a are A C-3PO ones, or an R2-D2? Like, the droids are more toyish, I feel like. Yeah, know? but look at, like, um, having BB-8 with Rey. Like, that just makes that display look so much cooler. Like, because she just... Wait. It's not that size, though. No, BB-8 is a smaller droid. Okay. Yeah, R2-D2 will be a bit bigger than that. Yeah. We'll see. I feel like those. I love the droids, but I don't. Two hundred? No, mm-hmm. I think it's too much. It's too much. No, I didn't say two hundred, but okay. Yeah. No, so you said two hundred and something. Yeah. Two hundred and seventy or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so let's much. move on to the next figure. So <laughs> wow, you here. hate it here. Okay. Yes, like it's too much. Okay. Well, you said eight pancakes, so we're not taking that back. The next figure we're going to talk about is Snow Speeder Luke. Now, I know you've got your thoughts on Mark Hamill's face. He actually, his face doesn't look that bad here. Okay. Maybe so, it's the opening of the mouth. Yeah, so this version is um, from Empire Strikes Back and it is the snow speeder look, right? So he's got his flight suit, basically. But the little more beefed up fly suit, flight suit because it's supposed to be in the snow. So, mm-hmm. you know, he comes with the helmet, which is awesome. Like that look by itself. Mm-hmm. Is really cool. Obviously, going back here, seeing a little R two action makes it makes it even more uh, you know applicable to the R two and three PO combo. Sure. And nice. yeah, so I, I just love the color, like the weathering on the helmet, the orange jumpsuit. It feels like it would there pop off the screen, uh, pop off the display. So um, let's get your thoughts on okay, this. Okay, so my first thought is that this looks like the Artie, or is that his name? What's his name? Artie McFly. Marty McFly. Oh, <laughs> Marty McFly. First of all, second of all, he Luke looks like Marty McFly. Like it's giving me that vibe. You know what I mean? It's the uh, orange. Okay. Right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right? He has that. Not quite orange, but he has the the life preserver. Okay, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah, he's got the vest. Um, do you already have a Luke? <laughs> I don't have a Luke yet. No, I do plan on getting the Mando version, which has like the all black robes. Um, that's just like a very different look from this, right? This is the pilot version. Yeah, yeah. That's the Jedi version. Hmm. Okay. Um, what is this hat that he has? Oh, that's like a, it's, oh. it's like the flight hat. Like it's what would go I under the helmet. I do like this because of the colors. Mm-hmm. Um, what does it come with? It comes with his lightsaber. It comes with the gun. It comes with a little diorama and base. And I do like the face. I don't think it looks too much like him, which mm-hmm. I think is why I like the oh, face. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> slanderous. Slanderous. I mean, once you put the helmet, I feel like it doesn't really matter. I, I think you that's know? how you display him with the helmet, yeah. though, right? Yeah, that's yeah. what's so cool about it. So so this hair probably pops off, and then you can put on the helmet is oh. what I would assume. Um. Yeah, I like this. Okay, okay. Just a, just a different looking figure, right? Yeah. How many pancakes? Mm-hmm. And what do you think the community... No, I'm kidding. How many pancakes? I'd say maybe a seven and a half. Wow. Okay. Seven and a half pancakes mm-hmm. for Snow Speeder Luke. So that one is... Uh, so I, I know I say like, oh, you never know when they're coming out. Hot Toys recently said, because they're so backed up on the figures, right? They're like, okay, I know you've been waiting here's what we're releasing over the next well i don't even know that they gave a horizon but here's what's coming up here's what we're releasing um so hold on hold on don't get ahead of yourself don't get ahead of yourself (laughs) but i'm just saying so that luke is coming out in the near future so 
when I may or may not get one, who knows? But okay, but can you only just get one Luke? Like, well, we're gonna get to that topic in a little bit. All right, hold on, it's oh, very yeah, applicable, I right? That's the main... Yeah. yeah. Okay. So well, this next, goes into that topic too. yeah, no, it does. It does. It, come on, these are very uh, intentional. I've chosen these very intentionally. Okay. Next one is Nightmare Batman. Gigi, what are your thoughts on Nightmare Batman? Um, and do you you know what movie this is from, right? No, I don't know any of the differences. To okay, be so it, you can explain it to me. I'm never gonna know. So this particular figure is from the Justice League, specifically the Zack Snyder cut, which was like that four hour oh, wow. super cut they released on HBO Max. This this appearance though was initially in Batman versus Superman. So this is kind of where you see like it's like a nightmare doomsday scenario where. You know, something has gone wrong, and basically this is the Batman you get. I don't think I had to watch the movie in order to get the context from, okay. from it. Okay, um, fair enough. I like this one. Let me see the faces again. Yeah. Um, Vito, the first one. The Vito, that one's good. The third one, Vito. <laughs> I feel like you'd want the really angry. You want that angry yeah, face. That yeah. one's awesome. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a little bit dead in the eyes, but um, okay. And, but he, I think he has different. I think he has movable eyes because I hate those. Okay. Um, I like this. Mm-hmm. It, I like the outfit. Mm-hmm. I don't like the face. Um, I like that one. That picture is good. Kind of gives you a sense of what you can do with it. Yeah. Did you just burp and blow to the side? My, <laughs> what a lady! <laughs> you want a little drink? You should be so lucky. I am not feeling well. So I know you are. You're a trooper. You're a trooper for this. Um, I like this one. Um, I may like this one better. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm gonna be honest. This looks exactly the same like the one you already have, okay. except for a different <laughs> outfit. So like, so that okay, that that is the thing though. It's the same base figure, right? Excuse me, like the same cowl. Um, it, it'll be different, like different paint applications. And I, I don't think that I get this angry mouth. I don't think I have that one with this version. Um, He's opening his mouth on Yeah, that so it's like the same base figure, right? So like the same under thing, the same cowl. His Everything neck else is, is different. Too, I know though. he's a and thick the boots. neck person, uh-huh. but I it's too thick for me. That's the, Wow, it's too thick for you. Okay. <laughs> Um, that is the, that's what I love about this Batman though. It's like a lot more comic accurate for a specific, um, Batman. And I just like the thick neck. Like it just looks more intimidating. I don't like it. I okay. Don't like all it right. All. Down with... I like the outfit more mm-hmm. on this, less like the outfit more on this one, the face on the other one. Okay. Better, I guess. And I'm not a fan. I'm just not a fan. I'm, I'm doing of the, now. <laughs> of the, wow. Of just Batman in general just, or of, yeah, it's, okay. it's no good. Okay, fair enough. How many pancakes? Uh, okay. Um, the outfit is really good. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say face because the jacket. I also I really like the scarf. Um, you really like I the love scarf, scarves. okay? <laughs> and I like the jacket because mm-hmm. it kind of looks like a keep. Um, I think the goggles, the dirty goggles, are a mm-hmm. nice touch. Mm-hmm. The pattern or whatever on this. It's got cool it details, good. yeah. The ha- the fit, ugh, the face, I absolutely hate. This one is the only good look, I feel okay, like. Okay, okay. But I hate, I hate that they're doing this. How many pancakes? Oh, eight and a half. Eight and a half, okay. So this one is a figure that's already been released. So, so let me sweeten the pot here for you. So this figure has actually already been released previously. Okay. They're re-releasing it, but, you know, they've he's got a companion now. So from that Zack Snyder Justice League... There was a version of Superman that we didn't get with the theatrical cut. And I'm going to pull that up now. And so this is actually a two-pack. And so this Batman comes with a Superman. And, okay, I'm not going to say anything to color your opinion of it, but this is one that I think is, is pretty cool. So this is the Nightmare Batman Superman, Black Suit Superman two-pack. Okay, I already know what you're thinking. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> I already know where you're going. But... Tell me in my ear. No, I, I want to have to tell you in your ear. <laughs> Why am I whispering something to you? Wait, well, just tell me, you're tell full. me. So you're like, it's exactly like what you already have. No. Okay, is that what you're going to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, What okay, were you okay. going to say? I don't want to say. Oh, was yours inappropriate? <laughs> oh, my. I, now I don't know what you're going to say. Okay, go on. Yeah, so so basically, so this is a two-pack, $520, Okay. 
What? But, yeah, no, it's two fingers. Oh, though. two fingers. Yeah, yeah, two yeah. Fingers. <laughs> Come on, it's a, it's a two pack. <laughs> Sorry, my mind went blank yeah, a little bit. Yeah, when you heard that that price. No, no, before that, anyway. Oh my. On. Okay. So overall, what are your thoughts on the black suit Superman? I like it more than the, the normal one you Superman, have. right? Yeah, 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 yeah I don't for like, sure. I've told you this. I don't mm -hmm. like the red and the blue. I just, it's not a good. I don't like that. That's right. You're not fans I'm of that colorway. Okay. Color, so I, like this more. And you know the silver and black, like it's one yeah. that I have to get. So I didn't actually plan on getting uh, this Superman that I ended up getting, right? A member of the community, Danny. Uh, not Sweet Danny Angel. Danny, not Danny Lee. Not Danny Lee. <laughs> I Whoa. was going to say, I didn't need to, come didn't need to throw Danny under the bus, but one of the six scale scavengers uh, he hooked me up with a really sweet deal on that version of, of Superman. So I was waiting on this one. This was going to be the one to add to my collection. Um, so overall, what are your thoughts? So how many pancakes for this black suit Superman? And then I want to talk about the two pack and like overall. So okay, yeah. What do you what do you feel about this? I version? like this one mm -hmm. a lot more. Um, and look at he comes with the with the. I laser don't like eyes. that. I don't okay. like that. I don't know. <laughs> that ruined it for um, you. Yeah. Minus points now. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. Uh -huh. Um, I I think it looks a lot better. Mm -hmm. Just that's it. Okay. I don't so, like the red and the blue. This all right, so how many pancakes? Pancake. So, and he does have a wired cape, I will say, or at least appearance of a wired okay. cape. Okay, um, I'm going to say, let me see again. Mm -hmm. I don't really remember what Superman looks like, but I'm going to say a nine. This looks like a really Okay, nine good, pancakes, yeah. Well, so it is like the same head sculpt. Uh, this isn't the final release. Maybe they oh. tooled it up. but I was going to say his um, hair looks darker, like... Probably different paint applications too yeah. from from this version because they've had an uh, interim one that was like more of the vibrant blue and red. Mm. Um, so I think that this one's probably like the darkest skinned version, and so they've improved since then. So, okay, so the I really want so you said nine pancakes, and mm -hmm. I really want to move on and talk about the two pack in general. So here's everything that you get for five hundred and twenty bucks. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you feel about these like two figures bundled I think that's together? A good deal. Um, I don't know how much you paid for your other stuff or mm -hmm. your Batman. Um, I know the cape was expensive, mm -hmm. but I like this. Okay. Uh, let me preface, or let me say this. I like this better than the ones you have now. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Um, so how many pancakes overall for the just the entirety of the of the package because it's two figures mm -hmm. sorry just bit um yeah I, that happens to me all the time Ay, that was sorry that was gross um just like, <laughs> we're just having a really just... nasty stream my hair's all jacked up <laughs> um not our finest for sure okay i think this is quote unquote good value mm -hmm. for two figures five what thank you for not saying dolls Oh my Five hundred and twenty dollars. Yeah, so it's like two something. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I think this is cool. Okay, awesome. How many pancakes though? Oh, overall. <laughs> um, overall. I don't know. This is kind of a weird one. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna say a nine. Okay, nine pancakes for the yeah. two, for the Batman Superman Justice League two pack. Love to see it. That is awesome. Okay. So another great round of GG Judges. Let's move on to the topic of the show. I'm not going to do tots, tots, tots. Damn it, I just did it. Okay. We were kind of funny. Shout out to them. I, I just love that podcast. You literally say that every single Okay, time. well, we're going to get our not own the, thing. Not that you love, but it's just like... We're going to get anyway, our own thing eventually one of these days. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, our topic of the show. Well, I've written here collecting as an investment. That's not even true, though. So I'm going to hide this banner. But our topic of the show is having more than how did one. You do that? How did I write that? It was from the previous oh, version. Wow. I just didn't, you know, I I'm reused. Prepared. I reused some stuff. I'm sorry. Okay. So our topic of the show is going to be having more, having more than one figure of a character. Right. When I first started collecting, I wanted to get two Spider Men. I think those were the initial ones. Where you're like, why would you need two Spider Men? I wanted the upgraded suit version and the homemade suit version. I was like, they serve two very different purposes. Mm -hmm. The upgraded suit is just going to stand there in a, like a modified museum, look really nice. And then the homemade suit, we're going to pose the heck out of him. Like it's just, it's different. And, you know, Gigi didn't understand that. And so one figure that I want to preview here. So shout out to Mario El Profesoro holding your baby here. The, so I put that right in front of your face. So the Mark 46. 
Now this is one that I've wanted to add to the collection for a long time. It was really not attainable. So uh, shout out to him for helping me add this one. Uh, love Civil War as a film. This is probably my favorite suit. And so Gigi, we're not in Gigi Judges anymore, but want to get your thoughts on this. And if you feel it's like significantly different than the Mark 47, which I already have. Uh, I don't remember what the other one feels like. Does oh, it feel wow. like this? Yeah, it is. So okay. so to, to, to tell you, it's like the same base figure, basically. Mm -hmm. This one comes with different things. It's different paint color, but for all intents and intents and purposes. Does it come with the same base? That. No. So he has a different head sculpt. Okay, it is the same head sculpt, but this one has like a black eye. Like it's different yeah, color. Yeah, but does the other one also have the mask? Uh, the metal mask. Yeah, it does have a metal mask as well. But this, so this one has a Thanks, damage. Mario. Wow, this one has a Shout damage chest plate. So like where Captain America jams it in at the end. Which one? This one does. This we're talking about specifically about the Mark Forty Six now. I'm seeing because I can't tell. The no, it's in the box. Oh. We'll do an unboxing oh, for it eventually. One. I just wanted to to preview that. So overall, let's talk about this. What are your thoughts about me now? You know, having potentially multiple figures of a character. Have you changed your mind at oh, all? I hate it. Okay, so th tell us why you hate it. Like, what why do you... Why do you need to? <laughs> what do you mean, why do you need to? Why? <laughs> I just don't even understand. Why do okay. you need Why do you need that one and the other one? Okay, so this is, per this is perfect. You've given me a soft It's literally water. like silver, a little more silver than red. Not quite, but... Okay, so here's the thing. They represent different movies, right? Like different time periods. So Civil War, one of my favorite MCU movies, right? It comes with very specific accessories for that film. And then this Mark 47 is from Spider-Man Homecoming. Again, another one of my favorite films. He comes with an empty helmet. So you can kind of recreate, again, certain scenes from that movie. So just like this Batman and then the Nightmare Batman they just represent different time periods in the films or, or different films. So to me, there is room for various interpretations of the characters in the collection. You're not buying that, though. So what is it? What, what is it that's still the sticking point? Because you're asking the question, but I, I'm not getting much like analysis behind it. It looks exactly the same other than like a few minor differences. I completely disagree. With <laughs> they... Look at them. I completely disagree. I mean, maybe the face looks different. And like the one that I hate the most is the weathering thing. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I need this one because it's weathered. Just leave it outside for a few days. Like it will be, it will be. You'll you get don't know how figures figure. work, but yeah. I know that's... how metal works. Yeah, but not all of them are metal. You're saying leave the plastic outside? Yeah, it would be like it literally. Wouldn't. It wouldn't. Let's try it. <laughs> All right, you buy you buy a figure for me, and we'll leave it outside for a little bit and see what happens. But this is our topic of the show, though. Like, we got to have some in depth conversation. I, like, I, I want to. I don't. I want to try to change your mind on this. Okay, then you do the work. I am. <laughs> I just I just laid out an argument. You're supposed to be the lawyer, and somehow you had no rebuttal. Like, it's kind of embarrassing. I'm kind of showing you up and completely demolishing you in this argument. Okay, so let me lay I'm out again. Turn this off. <laughs> let me lay out again. Different figures represent different movies, different time periods. Like you look at a figure and you have a feeling of like, oh, that's from Civil War. Like that's very specifically the Civil War version. That's very different because if you mm -hmm. told me right now, I wouldn't know which movie you. Yeah, literally you try to don't do know, that. but you it's not your collection, right? You're asking me mm -hmm. why I think a certain way, so yeah, I'm yeah. telling you what I think a certain yeah, yeah. way. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Damn, if looks could kill, oh <laughs> so, my god. I'm just saying, I don't understand why. Like, you already have that representation, so mm. why do you have to get another one? That's what I'm saying, though. It's not the representation. It's representation from one moment in, in the film history, but I'm getting representation from a different time. It's a different look. It represents a different time period. What does it make you feel? Hard. <laughs> As a rock. No, it makes me like it makes it reminds me of the movie. It like it reminds me of the specific scenes. Like, for instance, this is the clean, and we'll get into like the the more battle damage ver version of it. Like you take off the chest piece here, um, but it reminds me of when he's battling Cap and Bucky, right? And that's like very iconic, and that means a lot to me. 
But can't you just look at Iron Man and be like, oh yeah, he did that. He fought Captain America and like, I just don't understand. You would just want the one Iron Man. It. Yeah, I guess for some people that's that's fine. But like- I the... can look at you and think of five years ago. You know what I mean? Like I don't need, I just don't need this particular mm -hmm. like image of like, think of like, okay, Mm -hmm. like skinnier you wow <laughs> how dare I'm not, you All i'm right. not like i need that representation i don't know you've been saying get your ass to the gym so <laughs> that's a lie you know what i mean it just it just doesn't make i just, i don't you can explain all you want but it does not make sense to me like why do you need another one i don't it's like the same thing with the lightsaber mm. why do you need another lightsaber i don't get that it's it, so so okay that's a perfect one though so the the one lightsaber that i had was from 2019 when we went to disneyland that was my build my own saber right is it savvy savvy's workshop where i you know got to choose all my pieces got to choose the class that i wanted that means very like for a very special point in time that's what that saber represents the new one i just got is cal kestis's lightsaber from jedi fallen order which is a video game Am I mansplaining this to you? I'm like, I'm the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the meme where the lady's pointing and the cat's just sitting there. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's just a different saber, right? Like it fundamentally looks different and it represents different things. You just said it's not about representation though. That's what you said. I did say it was about representation. Oh, you did? Yeah. <laughs> Man, you got to work on your argument. No, because skills. I, no, because I said, okay, cool it. Or I'm going to for real walk I'm away. I'm just poking the bear. I'm just poking the bear. So I said, you already have that representation. Why would you get it? That's, mm -hmm. This is literally what you said. Mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Rewind the tape. I said, you already have that representation. Why would you want another one? You said, it's not about the representation. It's about the time. It's about the moment in time. That's no, what you I'm, said. No, well, I'm saying there is representation of that moment in time, not just of the character. So I guess you could say one thing represents just the character so if you had just one of superman like that's what represents superman then why didn't through you and through the to you one? you're not following my <laughs> arguments at all i'm, I'm not. saying one I, thing represents just that. the character by itself so maybe in your eyes you see it like oh that's just superman yeah because you're not as into all of this as I'm the rest of intellect. us right you're not a <laughs> You're, you're you're a casual. <laughs> I don't I don't want to say that you know derogatory it's term, okay. but you're a casual when it comes to a lot of this stuff. So you don't understand the intricacies. I don't because I just yeah, I see collecting. that Iron Man and I'm like, oh, that's Iron Man. Then I see this other Iron Man and I was like, oh, that's just a silver Iron and Man. And you wouldn't be able to say what movie they were from, right? No, you're just like, like it is just not. Iron Man. It's just yeah. Iron Man. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, it just represents different movies. So, for instance, this fat okay, Thor. Okay, but like, do you get a feeling? Like, you do. do you yeah, yeah. So this fat Thor. Move your head really quick. Move your fat head so we can see fat <laughs> Thor. So, <laughs> so that Thor is from Endgame, right? He represents a very specific time when Thor was down, and then he has his rise and he comes back to I wanna battle know, Thanos. Mm -hmm. How is it that you remember these things very clearly, mm -hmm. but you don't remember things I say to you? I just. Say more interesting stuff, and then maybe I'll remember. <laughs> I did remember your birthday, though. Happy happy birthday, oh, by, yeah. by the way. Happy belated birthday. Yeah. I, it was a day before my final, so I didn't really celebrate. But you got me carnitas and yeah. a Mexican Coke. It was dope. And more. I got you pan dulce. I, I got you a card. Mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting I got the you card. That was a nice all card. Yeah, I, got you. I spoiled you. Don't even. <laughs> everybody out there. I was the one that said it was a good birthday. Mm, I don't know. But. Okay, okay, but can I ask this? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, like... And this is, I was thinking about this the other day. Like, the stormtroopers, they all look the same. Mm -hmm. Like, some Whoa, of them are careful. weathered. People, wait. <laughs> the, people are going to be coming after you now. But wait. You could talk about, you know, Iron Man is one thing. If you're talking about stormtroopers all looking really the same, like people the are going to come for but you. But they all look, you know, like, this one just looks a little bit yellow and dirty. Like, Well, that is a, that the remnant trooper is a weathered stormtrooper. Yeah, That's yeah. exactly what he is. I know. But it's just like, why do you need a clean one and a not clean one? I don't have a not I clean know, one. I know, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's... Like that's I that's what I it's like the um what do you uh, the Mandos mm -hmm. they look the it's like they look the same okay, okay. like they look I think those I, I think the Dur is still I mean the Dur still is brown and this is all silver yeah but it's just like I don't I had to look at it like a few times to like you know 
Again, because you were casual, <laughs> I'm just saying. I just don't understand yeah. Yeah. why. Like, I'm, and why? I'm telling you, though. They're so expensive for you to I have, see. like, more Okay, than so it's one. about the money then, huh? <laughs> wow. It's always been about the money. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> You're just... always saying, it's not about the money, it's not about the money. <laughs> You've just, just said. No, I just. I liked that entered into the record that you just. I... No, I always Implicated that... yourself. No. Did I, I use just... that term correctly? Implicated yourself? I guess. Okay. I just. I'm just saying, like, wouldn't you prefer to have a different figure? Yeah, so that's, that's that is understand. the argument, though. So, so that, that's a good point, though, right? Because there's, going back to our favorite podcast, the Afford Anything podcast, you can afford anything. You can't afford everything. There's always opportunity costs. So by adding a, an additional Mando into the collection, that means that I'm not going to be adding a different figure, right? Ostensibly, that's what it so means. So he says. And I'm okay with that when in certain instances. Like, I'm okay with that trade-off because maybe there's a character that I just love that much that I want to have multiple of, right? I feel like you kind of just get a lot of FOMO and then that's why you want to get them. No, I, I do really curate my collection, like, really finely. Like, you don't understand how many figures are out there. One of these days, I'm going to just show you a list of how many figures have come out and how many have been announced. And then you can really see how really behaved I've been, actually. Right. Like, I'm very, very behaved, in my opinion. I just don't opinion. get it. I mean, yeah, like, I think Iron Man has, like, a thousand Spider-Mans. Like, why is that a thing? I don't understand why that's a move. Wait, like, Iron why? Man has a... No. Iron Logan. Logan. Sorry, yeah. What did I say? Okay, so that's the thing, though. He really loves that yeah. character, so he wants to go in because... But then if that's right. the case, like, mm-hmm. he doesn't have, like... Well, I don't actually don't know, but yeah. it's like, that's fine. Just, like have a theme then you know you don't have a theme i do though no you don't you What's legit do not what is your theme star wars on top dc marvel other films and then throughout the collection that's how they're sorted like come on that's that's it's very it's well not a organized theme. it's everything okay so if you if this was your collection how would you do it tell me i probably just have two you would have two figures, okay. I would have okay. like a Stormtrooper and that's probably it. That's probably the only one that I'm like loving. Maybe the, what's this guy again? <laughs> this guy with the black cape. Kylo Ren. <laughs> You'd have a Stormtrooper and, and Kylo Ren. And then the other one with the redhead. Darth Maul. Yeah. With the red, who's the red, who's the redheaded guy? <laughs> oh man. Does, okay. I, would probably I think you're going to be canceled after I that. I feel like I would keep those and then like everything mm-hmm. could go. Okay, okay. Well, I feel like your argument has not been super oh. stout. If we're leave it down in the comments below, who won this one? I think I, I like don't pretty think it's definitively about winning. I just all I said yeah. is I don't understand. You're the one that's supposed to convince me. I'm not convinced. Well, I've laid out a perfect argument and you haven't gone for it. So yeah, so you didn't do a good job. Therefore, you did not win. Wow. Okay. It's like so I'm we... the jury mm-hmm. and you have to convince me. Oh, and if okay. you don't convince me, <laughs> then you lose. That's it's a stacked it jury, though. It's a stacked jury. That's what I have I to say. I just don't get it. Mm-hmm. I, I, I honestly don't understand. I think it's more of a FOMO. I said it. Okay. It's FOMO that you have that you want another one. It's just, it doesn't make so sense So I just see the new latest, greatest one, and I just want it. Yeah. Okay, that, that happens every now and then, but there's not really any figures that I regret getting. Be honest. Mm-hmm. You don't regret any of them? I would say the Ant-Man is the only one that I like. Oh, okay, it's not as cool as I Ant-Man. anticipated. Yeah, well, he's not on display right now. He's in the closet. Oh. But um, that's probably the only one that's like, oh, because he's just not super poseable. That being said, I've got some plans for him. He's going to look cool how I'm going to display him. But Okay, so we're not convinced. No. I think this is one that we're just going to have to agree to disagree on. Yeah. I, I don't think that you'll ever understand I won't. why I want to get multiple. Like why? <laughs> Legitimately, like, I'm trying okay, to tell you why. Look at the Spider-Man. It's the same yeah. thing, except one has an all black costume and then the other one doesn't you're saying this spider-man sorry superman oh my god i'm not well okay okay yeah but one of them represents so the black suit represents when he died and he comes back and he's you know he's rebirthed he has you know more powers and he comes back to ultimately contribute to defeating dark side so it's just like it represents that part of the movie versus this one, which is when he went up against Batman. This is Batman versus Superman. I don't get it. Okay. What would you equate it 
if you were not talking about figures, what would you equate that to? Okay, like you have Kate Spade purses, right? You got like a watermelon purse that you yeah. like. But then you saw one that was an ice cream container. <laughs> They're the all purses. Same. They all you could put That's your stuff. Not, I'm Why not, is it not saying the same? don't get collectibles. Mm -hmm. I'm saying don't get the same just in a different color but they're both purses though they both that's serve not, the same no, function no that's not that's not the argument i'm not saying you have only one don't make that the argument because <laughs> i can make it an argument to just say you could only have one oh, okay so we, all right you're saying if, have mm -hmm. only one purse i'm not telling you have only one collectible hmm. right okay. there's mm -hmm. a difference mm -hmm. it's like okay, saying well, it's right, like saying if i had a watermelon purse and then a weathered watermelon purse. Like, why would I need it sounds that? Lit. It sounds lit. Sounds <laughs> tight. All right. <laughs> it, you know, like, yeah. that's a, sorry, that's a no good example. Try another one if you want. But that's No, I think good. I'm out of examples. I think we, I it's think. It's like having one tank top in blue and one tank top in black. Right? It's the same thing. Yeah, and, and I do. And sometimes you just need, like, <laughs> different, sometimes you need different tank tops. I think this is one where we're just going to have to agree to disagree. Yeah. It's my collection. I pay the tax. Ultimately, I have to decide whether the trade-off is worth it to add uh, the same character. I don't think versus you adding think about a new one. Too. I don't. I don't. I, I don't. That's what I'm saying. I think you're tripping because you don't give me enough credit for how much I think through which ones I'm gonna get. Because there are so many to think about. Like you don't understand God, how many. Is looking so cute I know right she's now. so stinking cute right now. Okay, can I say something? Yeah, go ahead. This is your this is your forum. <laughs> Okay, so you need to call it because Marco's like trying to act like I don't give him a break. What I almost, you're making me really rethink this tax break. What? Oh, oh we yeah. were going to talk oh, about Oh, yeah, that. okay, okay, go ahead. Talk about the tax break. So Marco, again, he's been so good. I'd also prefer if you refer to me as the six scale scoundrel. You Thanks. can't even say that. The six scale scoundrel. Oh. Six scale scoundrel. Okay, mm -hmm. that's never, stop trying to make fetch happen. Um, anyway, don't laugh like that. <laughs> so fake. How do you do that? Um, anyway, why are you so shiny? I know, um, I got too much light on me. I just saw it. Why are you letting me have all that light on me? My God, I got to turn this I down. I told you, why is it so bright? It's too, it's too much. Okay. okay. Still too shiny, but there we go. Better. Is there like a, anyway, so is there I a medium said, setting? so I was like, oh yeah, you're very shiny. I just got um, out of the shower too. That's why I'm so yeah, freaking red. Yeah, true, true. So he was, like I said at the beginning, he's been really well behaved. <laughs> Props like to you. Like a freaking child. <laughs> Props to you. And then when, if you don't put that away. No, I was going to take a picture of Pancake oh and I'm tripping. Okay. Well, this is over. I was trying to give him a compliment and be like, you know, thank you for being, like, I'm appreciative. I feel like Marco, I don't like to show that because it's weird and, um, Stop. Please stop. Please do that later. I want to drop it behind the I, scenes. My God. You're, no. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Anyway. You're giving at, me a compliment. Look what happens when I try to give you a compliment. <laughs> Every time. I'm just self-destructive in that way. Just like it makes it so difficult. So I was like, you know, he's been holding it down. Like, thank you so much. Like Super a bottom bitch. If you do not stop. <laughs> Why are you are you like, that's such a fake laugh okay. it's so annoying all right all right let's uh let's get back on track here you you're derailing us mm -hmm. so i was like i'm thinking about <laughs> like you you know think thinking about giving you a tax break so you can buy something and like you don't have to pay a tax but now i don't know you've committed to it you are making it very difficult i feel like Okay, so describe to me what the tax break would look like. Just you Conceptually. <laughs> let's, let's explore this. I'm, you already bought whatever you're going to use the tax but to, I'm assuming. Yes? Maybe this Mark 46, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just a tax break. So you but would just wave like it. I, you would be like, oh, this is waived. Yeah, the, like, okay. but I feel like there should be a limit, right? Or no? What, what's the limit that you'd want to place on it? 250. <laughs> Wow, you're so stingy. <laughs> no, because at first I was like, mm. you gave me more time to think because then you were acting a fool. <laughs> but no, you can wow, have... Wow, so it's a race. You, you, throw, have... you threw the baby out with the bathwater. I've been, mm -hmm. I've been holding it down for us, but then all of a sudden I say some outlandish shit and you're like, nope, you're done. 
and cut off. Yeah. No tax break. No, I didn't say no tax. See, mm-hmm. that's not throwing out the baby with the baby. What? With the bathwater? That's such a weird Throw analogy. the baby out with the bathwater. So you can have a tax break. Mm-hmm. It's on the record. I've gone on the record to say. Okay, good. All right, we're taking that. You we said will take you had it. some questions about it, no? How much was my question? How, oh. much, how much did it apply to? Could it be the whole Disney trip in general? It seemed like a fair... Oh, no, no. Come on. It just seemed like a like an exemption, you know, just a carve out of that entire trip. And we'll just pretend like that never happened in terms of tax purposes. No. And then we'll move forward with collecting, you know. And also, my what? haircut and my hair color... Oh, you should be paying a tax on that. True. What? I'll send you the I'll send you the Venmo. You must be high. No. You don't want You wanna... requested this. Okay, but it's it's your thing though. <laughs> All right, I'm just giving you a hard done. time. I'm giving I'm you a hard time. This is over. <laughs> I know this guy. Got... Yeah, no, we we should actually cuz we're just about at the hour mark. We've gotten pretty heated per usual. I feel like it wasn't great content overall. Wasn't. This wasn't our best. It was a little bit too like catty and a little less fun like a little less playful <laughs> i need you to work on your anger just a little bit pair it back just a tad and so for the next show so what else do we have coming up here Gigi? um ooh, thomas sent me um thank you thomas um he sent me a spongebob square bowels he sent me a um a figure a figure yeah um but i haven't opened it yet because finals um, should we do an instagram live unboxing of that that might be kind of fun um, sure. We'll discuss. Okay. Um, so I, yeah, I thought we were just going to do it on like on Saturday or something, but all of my weekends are booked up for the month of May. So, um, Man. um, yeah, we'll see. I know. So, so we've been on sabbatical for the origin story, have a few folks that we want to get like fit in sometime soon, but I don't know when that's going to happen. So I got to reach out to everyone, figure out when we can get that back to those live streams with the couples we we had such a good time with it but it's just been yeah crazy recently so we'll find some time why am i so shiny my gosh very upsetting um i know there's some type of makeup stuff i'll ask my friends i'll need some there we go a little bit better from that direction just not my finest day today (laughs) you're outshining me big time you're still the reacher though so (laughs) other thing i will say is i do want to do a live unboxing of this uh, mark 46 Maybe sometime this upcoming weekend, depending on when you're listening to this, it could have happened in the past, <laughs> maybe years in the past. Um, so, yeah, look look for that upcoming. And then obviously catch me on Collecting Weekly um, pretty much every week there talking about figures, movies. So, yeah, shout out to all those guys over there. With that, Gigi, I think that that really concludes this episode. I don't know what the heck we talked about, but it was good to be back for a little bit. And uh have you, you know, vent and air your grievances? I feel like this wasn't a good one because I wasn't feeling my best, you know? As Neither was I, I yeah. Well. Okay, we're making excuses though. We're just making excuses. No, but mm. anyway. <laughs> Anyways, so until next time, we'll catch you all on the next one. Gigi, you want to lead us out? Bye.